Touchdown, Longview! I think it's going to be a little harder from that pleasant score, hopefully, hopefully now the second half. Longview will kick it off from the north end of the stadium to the south end, the scoreboard end, the Jumbotron. What a nice addition that's been. Oh, man. Just a beautiful, beautiful scoreboard. Will McCorder will kick off to start this second half. Actually, I think they're both out there together. Really haven't seen anything like what Coach is talking about, and I don't. Uh, but uh, they are out there, and uh, they turn guys up to about the twenty. Now they're going to back up to the fifteen. Near my quarter to start this second half. He'll kick it off. Here comes my quarter with a kick. It's a wobbly uh, kick on the ground. It's filled and recovered at the 32-yard line. So that's where Mount Pleasant will, sk- will scrimmage. First down and 10, a directional kick. Kicked hard on the ground. Mount Pleasant has it. It's thrown 32, first and 10. Good they job of John Lesher that time. Is, uh, he did get on the ball, and he went right to the ground with it. To uh, So give Mount Pleasant decent field position. Ball on their own 32 to start the second half. Ellis. Barnes, Martin, Russell, and Milton up front. Myrick along with Herndon and Wilkerson, the wide receivers. Howard, the quarterback. Walker and Craddock are the running backs. First down 10. Mount Pleasant. As they scrimmage from the spread formation. Howard, the quarterback. He got a low snap, and he is smacked behind the line of scrimmage. That time, Melvin Templeton got through and made that tackle. It's a three-yard loss on the plate. It's going to be second down and 13. Brent, what's really been... Excuse me, been hurting them a lot is their snaps from center, and I don't know because if, it, if it's Bubba Vactor or Templeton or whoever getting the hit on the center at uh, at the snap, but they've had five or six like that, and uh, there was another one right there, so they lost about three yards on that play. Knighton, Vactor, Farley, and Templeton up front for Longview. The linebacks are Weaver and Cooks. Safeties are Eastburn and Howard. Corners are McGee and Patilla, and the safety is Alante Darden. Second down and 13. Howard's going to back up to throw. Throws this one. It's caught. It's caught outside at the 40 to the 45 to the 47. A first down for Mount Pleasant. It was caught with a tight end on the play, Chad Bowers. Well, that's a nice play that time. Delayed route by Bowers from his tight end position. Gets out and uh, picks up about 17 yards on the play and First down to the 47-yard line of Mount Pleasant. We're underway in the second half. Brent Taylor, Eddie, and Mike Richardson. 30-7 to seven our score. Longview on top of Mount Pleasant. And Mount Pleasant scrimmages at their own 47-yard line, first and 10. Same spread formation. Wide receivers to both sides. Tied in on the near side is Bowers. There's a low snap. It's knocked away and covered by the quarterback, Terrell Howard. Knight and quickly on the tackle, so it's going to be second down and a loss on the play of three yards. It's going to be second down and 13. Brent, I noticed, watched that time. Center's not being hit or wasn't that time at all. He just cannot get the snap up. Well, there's a loss of three again, second and 13. Back to the 43-yard line. Mount Pleasant will go 10 minutes and 19 seconds to go third quarter. 30-7 to seven our score. Wide receivers to the far side of the field. One comes to the near side on third down da- or second down. To the far side of the field goes Her- goes uh, Herndon's got to run the ball. Oh, no, my. sir, he is tackled that time. Who else? Chris Weaver. Chris Weaver. Well, y'all saw a lot of that. Unfortunately, I missed that last week. But I mean, uh, he brought it that time from his linebacker position. About another loss of six yards. I mean, he was a blur, and he got right in there. Well, last week in the second half, Longview did similar things. Is when uh, when the quarterback would move out of the pocket, when they'd move the pocket, Chris Weaver would go after him. And Chris Weaver is a 185-pound junior linebacker. He's only been playing linebacker for six games, but what a player he is. Third and nine. He is a big-time player. So it's third down and 19. Howard, the quarterback. They've got to run the reverse play. No, Here's Knighton. Chase him in the backfield. Knighton's got him at the 25. Well, Longview's turned some heat up on defense, Ed. Well, they sure have. And they've gone from bad to worse this possession. One bad snap and uh, a tremendous play that time by 
by Chris Knight, and that's going to be another loss of about 11 yards on the play. So, uh, fourth down, and about, it is fourth down and 31. 31. Fourth and 31. I think it's time to punt. Johnny Schultz will punt it for Mount Pleasant. Longview turns some heat up on defense. Schultz is going to punt it. There's a good snap, and Schultz, the left footer, got it away. It's off the side of his foot. It's going to be out of bounds. It's going to be out of bounds at the Mount Pleasant 47-yard line. Wow. That's about a 22. 21-yard punt. Longview is going to get the ball to 47 of Mount Pleasant. A 21-yard punt, 8.25 to go third quarter, 30-7 to Longview leads. Great job of the defense. Now we'll see if Longview in their first possession of the second half can move it a, on a short field here and come away with points. Uh, let's see. Is that McCray or Hunt? That's Hunt. So Cedric Hunt's the tailback. Here's a quick pass outside to Hollins. It's caught, caught at the 42-yard line. It's caught there, a gain of five yards on the play, and it's second down and five. Hollins with a nice scooping catch at the 42. Ball was underthrown, and as you said, a nice catch. Hollins dove for the ball and caught it, picked up about five yards. Call it second down five. To Cedric Hunt, part of the two-headed monster at tailback, is in there to start the second half. Thirty Keelan shot fullback. Second down and five. There goes Hunt. Up the middle he goes. He's got a first down to the 35-yard line or 36-yard line of, self, of Mount Pleasant. <laughs> Cody well, Russell made the tackle for Mount Pleasant. First down pickup of six on the play that time for Cedric Hunt, his first carry of the night. Legarius Johnson in the game for Longview at wide receiver. He split to the near side of the field. First down and 10. Here's motion back to the formation. There's the toss sweep to Hunt. Hunt's going to turn the corner. Hunt's got to the 30. Hunt's inside the 25 to the 24-yard line in a first down. Well, Mount Pleasant had a couple of tacklers over there, one being Tevin Elliott, the linebacker, the 217-pounder going to Baylor. They just couldn't get him down. No, they couldn't. Excellent speed that time. As you said, the short side of the field, but to Cedric, Hunt able to get around the corner, picks up 11. More importantly, gives Longview a, a first down. First down uh, ball resting right on the 25-yard line. First down and 10, Longview at the 25-yard line of Mount Pleasant. 7.08 to go in the third quarter. 30-7 to 7 our score. Longview leads Mount Pleasant. And Longview's got a first down. The I formation. Tied in near side of the field. There's a play-action pass. Johnson's going to roll to the near side. He's got a receiver. It's caught by Fortson, and it's caught inside the 15, and Fortson moves it to the 13-yard line. Well, I think Fortson, we talked about him before the game, Eddie. He's yeah. got a lot of upside, and I think he's starting to figure this uh, this football thing out. Well, I think he is, too, and that, that's a good throw also, Brent, by Aaron Johnson as uh, Fortson came in on the, the inside uh, – route and he cut it off and Aaron hit him right between the letters right where it's got to be and that's a, that's a good catch another first down for Longview. Fortson only a junior he's got a lot of upside to him first and 10 from the 13 or 12 yard line there goes Keelan Shaw touchdown right up the middle of the field well I, I said 36-7 I said in pregame, Keelan Shaw now, he's uh, he knows what it's all about. A starter last year, and he's already got the end zone this year. Well, you know, we talked about him earlier. Again. He's a heck of a player. He just couldn't get any playing time. That's right. He's got a lot of a lot of ability. 36-7 Longview, 6.24 to go. And here's Jenkins to kick the extra point. Johnson will hold it. Snaps low. Jenkins got it up in the air, and it's right down the middle. He is pretty accurate. 37-7 our score with 6.24 to go in the third quarter. We'll be back on 